Sierra Leone recently launched its first ever oral cholera vaccination campaign targeting half a million people. The country is administering the vaccine after suffering one of Africa's worst mudslides. Currently, thousands of people risk infection in emergency shelters and informal settlements with limited access to clean water and sanitation. Go to the sick, vulnerable communities are a slump area of which people actually, actually attract the disease at all times. So that is why today we are here back in the community just to issue the drugs to our people because the previous one has just finished and this is the round two that we are taking on to them to again today. And we are raising information to them that and it's an awareness that they should always receive the medicine in a good faith of which we help them prevent the cholera attack of itself. The waterborne bacteria is generally not fatal, but it can kill in just a few hours when diarrhea and vomiting cause dehydration, especially among the elderly. Since the cholera vaccine does not provide 100% protection, the government is also advising people to wash their hands, boil water and prepare food hygienically. I was with my father when he contracted cholera. He was at the Connaught Hospital when he died. The family was not happy when we lost him because he was the backbone of the family. When he died, there was no one responsible for us. But now, I am happy for this oral cholera vaccine. I took it because it will help us. I do not want the same thing that happened to my father to occur again. Sierra Leone's worst recorded cholera outbreak in 2012 killed almost 400 people and infected more than 25,000 others. I have contracted cholera before when I was younger. When I was growing up in early 2010, I had it, and it's a really bad disease. I'm pleading with everyone whenever there's a vaccine like this, I advise people to take it. Uh, the Minister of Health recognized, recognized this as a very important intervention, uh, as an added protective measure to uh, people using um, uh, sanitation measures but also promoting uh, good hygiene practices as a way of preventing the risks uh, of getting cholera in a country that already has a history of having had severe outbreaks. Schools, health centers, as well as affected camps are being used to reach as many people as possible with the vaccine. Health workers are also reaching residents in densely populated settlements in a door-to-door -door campaign. The vaccine has been effectively used in other countries in the past, including Malawi, South Sudan, and Ethiopia, among others. Beryl Oro, CGTN.